What's up guys, it's your boy MMA Striker back with another video today and today I'm going to be predicting UFC Vegas 11 Covington vs Woodley tomorrow night and it's a very stats card and let's get right into the predictions and we're going to start with the main event Colby Covington vs Tyron Woodley and even today this fight is still very intriguing um, you have Colby Covington who is a high paced wrestler high pressure wrestler and is a volume striker for the most part you have Tyron Woodley, who hasn't looked the best lately, but the only thing he's really thrown is an overhand right. But if Woodley can mix up his arsenal and pull out his full arsenal, I think this fight can be very competitive. He has very good leg kicks. He showed that in the Carlos Condit fight and in the Wonder Boy first fight. He has a solid jab, pretty good jab, pretty good round hit, roundhouse kicks to the body. So I think... He's, he's most definitely going to need to mix up some things to win this fight. He can't just throw one strike because, I mean, everybody's seen that one strike over and over again. So, and one thing, one big thing is he's going to have to keep up with the pace of Colby Covington because Colby Covington is not going to stop. He's not going to slow down. So, you're going to have to match his pace to be able to hang with him. If Woodley can't, can't match the pace of Covington, then it's going to be the Colby Covington show for five rounds. Now, my prediction for this fight... I'm going to go with Colby Covington by decision. I think he's going to win a 49-46. I do see one round where Tyron does catch him, whether he drops him or rocks him a little bit, and that will give him a round. But other than that, I see Colby just outworking Tyron and just the pace being too much for T-Wood. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. But, yeah, that's my prediction for the main event. And moving on to the co-main event, Donald Cowboy Cerrone versus Nico Price. Now, this has Fight of the Night written all over it. This could be a barn burner. And to me, how this fight plays out, it depends on how Cowboy fights. If Cowboy hangs back and just decides to be very technical in this fight and pick Nico, Par Nico Price apart, then I think he can do that. If he decides to wrestle in this fight, I think he has a wrestling advantage over Nico Price. Cowboy has always had great BJJ. His whole career back dating back to the WEC days, but like well, the past two years, he's been developing his single leg and double leg takedowns, which have been very good lately. So I think I wouldn't be surprised if Cowboy tried to wrestle and get a submission in this fight. Um, Nico Price is a very wild fighter. He's very unorthodox, very weird, very he's a very weird fighter. You don't really know what he's gonna do. It's kind of hard to prepare for. So if Cowboy Cowboy does have to be careful of getting caught by something crazy from Nico Price because especially if Cowboys decides to bum rush to Nico Price and that's what Cowboys doesn't want to do. He doesn't want to bum he doesn't want to rush Nico Price to, because that's when Nico started doing the weird stuff and get those crazy knockouts. So if I'm Cowboy, I'm hanging back, using leg kicks, teak kicks to the body and trying to pick Nico up Nico Price apart. And if if Cowboy gets hit clean and he get he gets hit from trying to Blitz or bum rush, I do see Nico Price most definitely can be able to catch him and knock him out. And but my prediction for the fight, I'm going to go with Donald Cerrone by. I'm going to go with submission. I'm going to go with a second round submission. I see him taking down Nico Price and got it, getting a guillotine choke or getting. I see get, get him an arm bar. Yeah, I'll go with arm bar. Round two arm bar. And moving on to the next fight, Hamsnat Chimaev versus Gerald Mershrak. I know I always mispronounce his name, but we'll just call him GM3 so this is a very interesting fight the hype train in Chamaya versus GM3 this is at 185 now off of the gate GM3 is a much better striker he's this is where he wants the fight to be at standing but he also has I think he has the most submission wins in UFC middleweight right now so he's no slouch on the ground so but his takedown defense is not the best it's kinda of suspect and he has been choked out a few times, so but his takedown defense is is what worries me in this fight. And if Chimaya takes it, get get a hold of him, I'm pretty confident he can take him down. But he has to be careful from get guillotine counters and you know submissions off G GM3's back because GM3 can throw up any submission off his back. He's very good on his off his back. So if Chimaya can avoid that, if he's careful of that, if he knows that, then. I think he should win this fight pretty comfortably, but you never know. Chimaev, Chimaev is only 8 0, so we don't know how his fight IQ is. We don't know his experience level. He may just go in there thinking he could be able to ragdoll GM3, and GM3 catch him with a, a submission countering him, 
who knows but my prediction for this fight I'm gonna go with Chemayev by decision I don't think he's gonna finish GM3 I don't think he's gonna just run right through him like he did um, Reese McKee and John Phillips but I do think he's gonna win a decision probably 29-28 so that's my prediction for that fight and moving on to the next fight Johnny Walker versus Ryan Spann now this is a very underrated fight on this card it's not really getting that much talk about I mean but I mean, but it's understandable because you have Colby Covington on the card, and you have Chimaev and Cerrone, all these big names on the card, Woodley. So, it's going to get undershadowed a little bit, but, <clears throat> sorry about that, but this is a very good fight, and I know a lot of people are picking Johnny Walker in this fight, but from breaking this fight down and seeing it, I see it otherwise. Ryan Spann has much better boxing than Johnny Walker. He's much more clean, cleaner boxer than Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker's defense has always been a lacking thing. Um, Corey Anderson exposed that. Nikita Krylov showed that even more. And his defense, he just doesn't have defense. His defense is not there. Now, he may have worked on that defense, training with John Cavanaugh and him in Ireland. But from what I see in his last, going off his, his few fights, going off his fight with Corey Anderson and Krylov, he doesn't have that great of defense. And if this fight goes to the ground, Ryan Spann has a huge advantage on the ground. Now, Ryan Spann, Shin. His chin is not that it's not that great. He is kind of chinny, so I can most definitely see an instance where Johnny Walker does a flying knee or a spinning spinning heel kick or a spinning back fist and catches Ryan Spann off guard. I can most definitely see that happening, but my prediction for this fight, I'm going to go with Ryan Spann by decision. I think he's going to outbox Johnny Walker, and I think Walker, he's going to try to take down Walker. If he gets it, I think he's going to either submit him, but if he doesn't, I see him boxing, outboxing him for the most part. For the most part. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to comment down below your predictions for the card tomorrow. And make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like this type of content. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which will be the Monday MMA News Series, Episode 5. Have a good day.